Well, I've got a pretty cool video for you today. We're going to customize windows a little bit. Now, I'm not going to do the intro or any- Yes, yes you will. will. But why? Come on, just this one- No. Uh, okay. Um, stay tuned. Welcome back to Gamer Meld. Sorry about the weird interruption. Um, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, anyway, it seems most every gamer has a love-hate relationship with Windows. We love it because it provides us pretty much the go-to platform for gaming, but at times it can seem a little restricting and, well, buggy, but that's something different entirely. When it comes to the restricting part, the interface is something that comes to mind. Windows 10 doesn't offer too much flexibility in this regard, and there's one thing that always bugs me. Finding things on my desktop. Sure, there's definitely ways of fixing this, for one, being less cluttered, and second, not using my desktop as a temporary place to store all the images I'm using while editing a video. But alas, it can still be annoying to find that one folder. Well, believe it or not, Windows actually has a solution to this, and I don't think many know about it. The answer is custom folder icons. That's right. The generic folder icons present in every copy of Windows can actually be overridden to pretty much any image your heart desires. Unfortunately, you will lose the feature that gives you a tiny glimpse of what's inside, but when there's a ton of folders anyway, most of it all just kind of blends in together, and it only shows you a couple files that are in it anyway. Well, not anymore, because I'm going to show you how to change that icon. And it won't just change it on your desktop either, it actually changes it everywhere that that particular folder icon appears in the user interface. So how do you do it? Well, first you're going to need to actually have the new icon you want, unless you'd like to use one of the options that comes with Windows. But of course, that's lame. We don't want to do... Ooh, this one's kind of cool. Looks like the Zune. <laughs> oh, Microsoft, you and your poor product history. Anyway... What you want to do is just go ahead and head to Google, and you're looking for .ico files. You can just type in something like folder icons and Google images, or even something more specific. For this example, I'm updating the icon on the game folder. So let's just type in gaming icon folder. Um, a lot of things that have controllers on it. This is a PC. Um, come on, gotta have keyboard and mouse or something. Um, tch -tch -tch -tch. whatever, let's just go with the retro one. Either way, from here, it's pretty simple. All you want to do is go ahead and right click and save it, just like you would any other image file. But first make sure it's a .ico file, but just make sure that you're not going to save it in a place where it could accidentally get deleted. Then go over the icon that you want to change. Right click, go to properties, and then over to the customize tab. Click change icon, then browse and find your icon, and there you go. You've now got a new folder that's far easier to separate from the others. So while that does it for today's video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this type of video where I show you how to customize something, whether it be software or hardware, just essentially somewhat vaguely gaming related, <laughs> let me know and I'll work on more. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.